What's going on, everybody? It's your boy CJ, K the Bearded Yerk, and I am back, finally back. Uh, I was down and out with coronavirus for a few weeks, and I finally, finally, finally just got my sense of smell and my taste back. I'm so happy I can finally eat, I can finally smell, and I can finally get back to doing my reviews. So, on that note, if you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you're a return viewer, I appreciate all your support. Make sure you hit that like button. And as you can tell by what you have seen in the thumbnail as well as the description, today's review is on Lucky 13 Beard Co. So I have the one ounce oil and the two ounce butter. I actually won these in a giveaway and figured I'd do a review for them, seeing as I won them in the giveaway. So the one ounce oil runs for $13, imagine that. And the two ounce butter runs for $13. Very cool. So a little bit about the company. Uh, it's owned by a gentleman named Ed. Yeah, he was out of New Jersey. And jumping right into everything. So the label is very cool. Um, not much to it, but still to the point. Like it a lot. One thing that I always love was when there's directions on there. I always have a hard time when I don't see any direct, or not directions, ingredients. Um, <laughs> Love it when the ingredients are on there. Uh, you have your little viewing window in between the label and then also your scent profile. And the scent profile that I picked up was root beer float, which is basically a root beer and vanilla. So this immediately, I opened it up and immediately reminds me of those root beer barrel candies. Right after you throw one of those in your mouth, that root beer sweet taste smell that you get right when you put that in your mouth is exactly what this smells like. Absolutely love it. Uh, the scent profile I get um, from this is probably around five hours, kind of depending on what I did. If I was outside, um, maybe a little bit less, but if I was you know, around the house during the day, it would definitely be a five, six hour scent for me. Um, the ingredients for the oil is almond oil, jojoba oil, apricot oil, castor oil, meadow foam seed oil, and then essential oils. So, as you can see, it's definitely more of like a goldish tint, definitely on the medium side, or medium viscosity. Definitely like it. It worked very well with my beard. Those ingredients always work well with my beard. Didn't sit heavy on the beard, well absorbed, very nice. Left it nice and soft. Very like, I, I liked it very much. So onto the butter. So same scent in the butter. Use it a couple of times. Very nice. The ingredients in the butter, shea butter, mango butter, almond oil, jojoba oil, apricot oil, castor oil, meadow foam seed oil, beeswax, and essential oils. So you have the carrier oils from the beard oil in here, as well as the added shea butter, mango butter, and beeswax. So this, it does have that, it's very low on the ingredients, so it has a very small amount of beeswax in it. So it, I did, if I use a little bit more, get a little bit of a hold, not much, but just a tiny bit of a hold, and then if I were to wear it at night, um, definitely, you know, didn't use as much, but I did get a little bit of style out of it. I do like it. Um, the only thing that I have to complain about the company, anything at all, is the lids. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm actually, I've actually talked to him and let him know that um, just a slight over tighten on these lids can cause them to crack. And unfortunately that has happened. So that can also cause, you know, the butter to dry out. But I mean, it's a simple fix. Um, I just need to get a little piece of tape or something to put over that. But that's the only thing. Um, they do make different lids. Um, these are just, you know, cost effective and, you know, not as durable as some of the other ones. But that's really it. Um, the butter was amazing. Like I said, just like the oil, absorbed into my beard very well. Enjoyed it very, very much. Um, I do like this company a lot. Um, definitely interested in trying some more of their products. Um, they also sell, I think on their website that I saw, they had a comb on there for $8. So definitely, you know, on the cheaper side, as far as products, you know, definitely below market average, but highly recommend it. I enjoyed them very much. 
Um, I will link um, their website as well as their Instagram down in the description. Um, make sure you hit that thumbs up and that like button. And thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for next week for reviews on the road.